Thank you, Kevin, and thank you, Ekam, for telling our story again. And I will talk briefly about what SIMAD is all about, what we are doing, and what direction we are taking. And with two products already out in the market, so we have some something to offer. We don't say that you believe in us, we'll be there one day, we are already there, and we are trying to utilize that expertise for our, for our next generation of, uh, uh, of ELISA-based technologies, and we are trying to miniaturize what those bulky instrumentation or equipment or, or all those products are into, into, into smaller micro-nano-based systems. Our focus is on uh, food, food safety, human nutrition, and these are our <coughs> major components because we feel that with these uh, targeting human nutrition, we can be in the market much faster than the clinical applications uh, for regulatory approvals. I'll always try to talk about recent highlights. We already have products which are, uh, which are out in the market, and we have two kits out in the market, Vita Kit A and Vita Kit D. Vita Kit A and Vita Kit D analyze vitamin A and vitamin D content in dairy samples to start with, and, uh, and they allow processors to, to have in-house capability for quality assurance and quality control activities. We have some major clients which are coming on board and more are coming. And again, it is something, a milestone for the company's own development that we have received AOC certification for one of our products for Vita Kit A. <coughs> And additional kits is for infant formula. When I'm talking about fluid milk, we are trying to push the kits into the fluid uh, milk manufacturers. But for infant formula manufacturers, there's a pull from the market. They're looking for Vita Kit A and Vita Kit D type of diagnostic tools where they can have their QQC analysis done before they can market their products out in the market. And as we speak, we are working with Nestle as well as Fonterra from New Zealand. These are the two major manufacturers of infant formula. In addition to these infant formula kits, we, have, we can extend these kits for vitamin A and vitamin D into different matrices, whether it is edible oil, yogurts, sports drinks, and, and so on. Already the patents have been issued in New Zealand and Australia, and we are in the last phase for the US patent. In addition to this, like while we are trying to get into the market with our Vita kits, we have a plan in place to be prepared for possible competition in the future based on uh, lab on chip diagnostics. And Kevin has made my life a little easier because he has already explained what lab on a chip is, all the, all the lab components being performed on a, on, on a, on a chip. And our, and our pipeline products would be based on uh, uh, lab on a chip, and we have created a wholly owned subsidiary of uh, SIMED under the name of Nanospeed Diagnostics. We have investments in place, and at this point, like I'm trying to target this, uh, this opportunity so that we can target some investors also if there are any in the audience, and we are looking for $2 million, whether in one go or in small chunks from two or three investors. It's all about SIMED. It's a nine, uh, incorporated in 99. It was a service providing company to agri-food, nutrition labeling things to clinical trial patients, and then we moved on to research and development for Vita kits, and then we are going into product development. As I said, we have a pr proven track record that we have the ability, commitment, and focusing that we can take any product whatsoever we go after from concept to commercialization. And till its inception, we have been financed by investments product revenue, which has started generating uh, some revenue, analytical services, which we did in the past, and of course, uh, no company can survive without, uh, without uh, federal and provincial uh, grants, notably IREP and, uh, and Alberta, Inuity, Alberta Innovates and what so. And Nanospeed is again a wholly owned subsidiary of SIMED. This is a nutshell, like when we are trying to say that we are going from bulky instrumentation to miniaturization of the ELISA component based on monoclonal and polyclonal antibodies. On, on, the, on the left up, you'll see two diagnostic kits. These are Vita Kit A and Vita Kit D, which, uh, which are on the market right now. And these are based on uh, monoclonal antibodies, which we generated in-house, and the patents have been issued and again extended the matrix, uh, applicability of these vitamin A and vitamin D into, into other matrices. In addition to this, 
a recent report in the last one year or so, it, a number of studies have implicated that vitamin D alone is generating about 90 million tests per year. And one of the province, Ontario, over here is spending $39 million just for vitamin D to check the nutritional status of, of, of the human beings. To capture that market, we are already working on lateral flow assay, where it will be a qualitative uh, assay whereby the patients or the doctors can decide within their office environment whether the person is deficient of vitamin D or not. And it's a huge market and, and we are already uh, there to capture that uh, uh, opportunity. In addition, we, we are working on lab on chip for not only fat soluble vitamins but other water soluble vitamins. The difference between us as compared to multinational companies is they are, they are putting out equipment or instrumentation in quarter million dollar range. Biocure is an example where they have water soluble vitamins on lab on a chip but requires instrumentation of about quarter million. So we are trying to distinguish ourselves by going for low cost, low cost chips as well as biosensors so that these can be used in the field conditions. In addition, we are also working on antibiotics in dairy milk, recombinant bovine metrotrophin, thyroid hormones for the, for the human samples, as well as some of the pipeline products in, uh, are in, in the pipeline are pesticide pathogens, and we, we will go after cancer markers too. What I want to again emphasize over here, as, as we are going from two hour essay to two minutes with this lab on a chip, it doesn't mean that we are trying to kill our own products. Whatsoever we are developing on ELISA-based diagnostic kits and its application in, into infant formula and yogurts, that market segment we will be exploring and we are going full, full circles for those things and additional, additional activities or so we are trying to develop on the lab on a chip. Why we are going for lab on chip? Because it's faster. It will be able to uh, fulfill all the requirement of Q and QC of the regulatory uh, uh, bodies. And it has applications in, uh, for the diagnosis as the treatment in one visit to the doctor as compared to multiple visits going to the doctor to the lab and back again to the doctors. It can be used at the point of care in field conditions. Doctor's office, pharmacist, and any, any layman can, uh, will be able to use it. Cost effective because these are miniaturized equip, uh, devices. Lab on chip, the one prototype units which we have already developed is about 1.5 centi centimeter by three centimeter. And the biosensor is just like any other glucose meter, about uh, six inch at the, at, the, at the most. And these lab on chips, they are a green solution to, 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 the, to the environment. With bulky instrument, we are playing with, uh, with large amounts of not only organic solvents, but also different types of chemicals which are, which are, which are toxic. This, this in nutshell, like where I have, we have devised a comparative advantages. From the left, you will see HPLC, LCMS, bulk equipment, going to Vita kit or any ELISA-based uh, technology and going to lab on a chip from two to four days to two, hour, two hours and, and less than two minutes. This is what we are going after cost, skill set, equipment costs, capability, like one of the additional benefit of these lab on chip is right now we can do one analyte at a time, especially for the extraction part. We might be able to have multiple analytes on the same chromatogram, but extraction is, is, is separate. Whereas with this lab on a chip, we can target multiple analytes. Let's say for thyroid profile, we have T3, T4, TSH. Everything can be done on one chip without any extra cost, as well as green solution to the environment. And we do not require any skill set. For H HPLC, LCMS based things, you require skilled technologies, heavy equipment, and then maintenance costs are very high, whereas those type of things are not in, in the lab on chip diagnostics. So this is basically our market uh, segment we are going after, and this is a need of the industry. And, and, and these are some of the collaborators, like ACAMP is already filling uh, quite a bit of uh, void where, where we have to uh, get the chips fabricated, and then we will get these packed. And again, ACAM provided us the marketing and, and business development support for, for our business plan. And then we are using tier labs for our biosensor as well as University of Alberta as for the, for the fabrication of the chips.